Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. This is the United States Army Chorus, and I'm Lieutenant Alan Crowell. It is indeed a privilege for us to be here at Columbia Union College this evening. Many of you have doubtless heard the United States Army Chorus, perhaps at Watergate concerts or torchlight tattoos, but it is very seldom that we get to present uh, a concert, a public concert in the Washington area, and therefore we are indeed happy to be here. The chorus, as you see, is about 25 musicians, smaller than the picture on your program, but uh, nevertheless, we feel a fine group of vocalists, uh, many of them soloists in their own right, as you will later see. But uh, we would not want you to forget that we are soldiers, and we do represent your army. Now, the traditional uh, soldier songs, such as The Army Goes Rolling Along, or Your Dog-Faced Soldier Boy is OK, would be a little out of place in uh, concert format. So we've chosen some not so typical soldier songs to present for you this evening. First, from Brahms' Opus 41, the only a cappella works he wrote for male chorus, we've chosen three Soldatenlieder. Ich schwing mein Horn in Jamestal, marschieren freiwillige Herr. Es war nicht schon zwei Jahre lang in der verdammten Kiko, doch in der Kassente legen. Nun schlage dort der Teufel rein, aus dem Zurat will ich dich sein. Keep going, I'm gonna get the same to me. It's hard. 
my darling all alone. Over hill and hollow, and on those to follow, farther yet farther to distant Russian plains. Far from home and home, and all the woods so green, many who rest by them will not come again.
Mayo chorus was a way of life in Germany in the 1800s. And in addition to the over 700 works for solo voice, Franz Peter Schubert in his 31 years wrote 184 works for the male chorus. This evening we want to present just a small fragment of that outpouring. First, the beautiful Pianta Spring by Schiller, An der Frühling. Next is the lovely shimmering Nachtella, featuring specialist William McDonnell, our tenor soloist, who was formerly with the Robert Shaw Chorale and the New York City Center Opera Company, and also our accompanist specialist, Peter DeWitt. Nachtella. Thank you. 
was in meinem Herzen Nicht all das reiche Licht. Es will hinaus, es muss hinaus. Die letzte Schranke bricht. Es will hinaus, es muss hinaus. Es muss hinaus, die letzte Schranke bricht. Die letzte Schranke bricht. Next, in Italian, a poem by Goldoni, The Shepherdess, La Pastorella.
now a bit more rousing, by Johann Gabriel Seidel, who also wrote the poem Nachtella, Widerspruch, Contradiction. Which is banging over 
which is my computer, hurry, hurry on time. Kiss your wife goodbye now, mister. Kiss her, Madam Brown. Wave farewell to happy home, your daughter and your son.
twenties when living was high. Right through our backyard we saw a little girl run by. She was fat and pudgy and her manner was sassy. was a hardy tomboy lassie. Her playmates were the breakers. She fussed and shoved and shoved. She fussed and fumed like a bear in June with a grumbly song. Her school was the freight yard, her teacher the dispatcher. And little lady would be a prize if one could catch her. With the zephyrs, she ate in Union Pacific. Her pigtails were gone, now she was just terrific. Her bows were the Santa Fe and the Baltimore and Ohio. And on the seaboard, Was the main line. This blonde and shapely lady was having fun. She crossed and to New Orleans, she poked up to St. Paul. She bunny hopped over mountains, she really charmed them all.
You want to get on it, yeah, that's my aim. Clean out the world and leave no sin. Tell me, please, where have you been? Lord, if I got my ticket, can I ride? Lord, if I got my ticket, can I ride? Lord, if I got my ticket, can I ride? Right, right away to the heaven that morning. Hear a big talk of a gospel train. You want to get on it? Yeah, that's my aim. Stand at the station, and if you wait, the train is coming and it's never late. So long coming that it worried my mind. I thought it was late, but was just on time. Lord, if I got my ticket, 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 I got my I Of the world, troubles of the world, troubles of the world. Soon we'll be 
my garment, good Lord, good Lord. Do don't touch my garment, good Lord, I'm going home. Do don't touch my garment, good Lord, good Lord. Do don't touch my garment, good Lord, I'm going home. To your, your God, God, good Lord, good Lord. Lord. To your God and my God, good Lord, I'm going home. To your Touch me not, little Mary, good Lord, good Lord. Touch me not, little Mary, good Lord, I'm going home. Touch me not, little Mary, good Lord, good Lord. Touch me not, little Mary, good Lord, I'm going home. To your, your God, God, good Lord, good Lord. Lord. To your God and my God, good Lord, I'm going home. To your God. Oh, my son. 
silence weighs. No sir, let you sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, servant, I can sit down, sit down, servant, I can sit down, sit down, servant, I can sit down. I'm so, so happy that I can sit down. Sit down, servant, I can sit down, sit down, servant, I can sit down. And the stars were shining too Then I'd take my darling Nellie Gray the And I'd float her down the river In my little red canoe While my banjo sweetly I would play Oh my poor oh, Nellie Gray They have taken you away oh, And I know oh, darling Nellie Gray I'll never see you I'm again. sitting by the river And I'm weeping all the day For you've gone from the old Kentucky oh, shore
Thomas Canning wrote The Temptation of Jesus for, in 1957 for the Phi Mu Alpha Sinfonia um, Honorary Music Fraternity at Eastman School of Music, where he is a professor of music. We believe this to be the first Washington area performance of, of this work. The narrator is specialist Bill Fox. Then was Jesus led up of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. And when he had fasted forty days and forty nights, he was afterward and hungered. And when the tempter came to him, he said, But he answered and said, Then the devil taketh him up into the holy city, and setteth him on the pinnacle of the temple, and he saith unto him, Jesus said unto him, Again the devil taketh him up 
into an exceeding high mountain and showeth him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them. And he said unto him, Then saith Jesus unto him, Then the devil leaveth him. And behold, angels came and ministered unto him. <laughs> 